Victoria's second and most subsequently celebrated series of prints, The Disasters of War, were not even published in the artist's lifetime. He commenced work on the series around 1810, at the age of 64, and two years after the 2nd of May uprising in Madrid, which initiated years of bitter and violent guerrilla warfare between French troops and Spain's ill-prepared forces in what became known as the Peninsula War. The series is a trenchant indictment of human barbarity. They address acts of despicable violence from both French and Spanish troops, the dire poverty and hunger of Spanish citizens, and the aftermath of the return to power of Ferdinand VII and his regressive regime at the end of the Peninsular War. Goya did not glorify battle in the series, but presented images that documented the human impact of war. The Peninsular War, as it is known, saw the emergence of guerrilla tactics by civilians and volunteers. Reprisals often took place at very local levels, resulting in the deaths and torture of many civilians. Women and children were often victims, as can be attested in this image, of an abandoned, weeping child as her dead mother is carried away. Goya's use of the aquatint process emphasises the foreboding atmosphere and drama of the incident in a way rarely seen in previous images of war. <laughs>